<clears throat> People of Ryashki, my dear friends, good day to you all. Over the past two days, Sino has assessed the potential risks and benefits in the area and held hearings on what should be done about the future of this town. Our hearings saw very limited attendance. We've taken that to be a gesture of approval. Mr. Evgeny has put in a great effort helping to make these changes happen. We all owe him a great deal. Thank you, sir. Please believe that we have made the best decision we could for you. We all know the runium here has run dry, and the land has been exhausted of all further material wealth. Now and into the foreseeable future. As a result, your local processing factory has lost its intended purpose. What's more, Sino has changed our cooperation strategy. Though your town's loyalty will never be forgotten, we must have a sober-minded view of its costs and benefits. To sum up, our final decision is that we will be ending operations and all future cooperation between Sino and Ryashki. Well, Mr. Bertolt, you have just got here. Perhaps you didn't have enough time to get to know us well enough. Ryashki's value is not just in Arunium. We have many other factories, too. Yes, you have a brick factory, a power plant, many forklifts, a smattering of conveyor belts. But all these were all built and suited for only the processing of runium ore. Without the ore, they simply have no benefit to us. Now that you have full knowledge of the situation and our intentions, we want to assure you that your loyalty has not been forgotten. So we have generously prepared two choices for the future of Ryashki. Firstly, Sino believes that you have many valuable qualities. The determination and skills you've shown in the past year of our cooperation have proved that your people can be a great asset to us. Indeed, many of you already meet the entrance requirements to join Zeno. Therefore, on behalf of Zeno Arms Academy, I wish to extend a heartfelt invitation to you. Leave Ryashki, join us, and work for one of our other branches as members of Zeno. What are you saying? You want us to abandon our home for some promise of a job? Calm down, Mr. Knut. This is not about abandoning your home. It's about joining us in our efforts to contribute to world peace through a more optimized allocation of manpower. So you're just going to pack us all up and ship us away to work for Zina? You misunderstand, madam. Every year, Sino dismisses 4% of our employees because they failed to pass our rigorous work reviews. And the number of our colleagues that are killed in the line of duty is even larger still. Working for Sino is a privilege, not a gift. That's why only a small number of you will be allowed to come and work for us. What? 
Now, according to Article 58 in the section on protection of Arcanis Heights, signed at the Event Horizon Convention, we will provide basic supplies for any residents who haven't been offered a position with Zeno. They will be transferred immediately to the nearest relief station until our social workers contact them for further arrangements. So then, you're suggesting you will send our children and elderly away to some kind of refugee station. And the rest of us must go to work for Zena without any questions? Pridurak! This is total rubbish! Sir, please lower your voice. Well, you would be glad to know that your work experience in particular is valuable to Sino, Mr. Knut. If you're not interested in our first plan, we have another. If the residents in the area prove reluctant to relocate, Sino can offer another alternative. As stated earlier, Rayashki is a remote town that possesses some significant industrial infrastructure. Therefore, it could be considered an ideal location for a new complex of arms factories. <sighs> there would be a need to substantially upgrade the Rayashki Wharf to turn it into one of the seaports Sino plans to build across the globe. Additionally, a radio station will be constructed within the town, which will better facilitate our communication throughout the Arctic region so as to stabilize and coordinate with the other powers in the area. We will now be passing out forms, listing the options I've presented. Please fill them in with your choice. So your only other option is to turn Rayashki into some kind of military base under Zeno's control? I won't put it so bluntly, but you're not incorrect. Our resources, as much as anyone's, are limited, and they must be put to good use. We cannot afford to waste them on strategically useless, costly people and places. If you find Sino to help you, you should be able to give us something in return. Don't you agree? So, Yevgeny, this is the best choice you made for all of us? <clears throat> I must speak in Mr. Evgeny's defense. He is committed to his duty and only wishes to do what he can for his compatriots. Shameless! All you've done is sold us out! You tell them, Knut! Do you think it's getting a bit windy lately? Clearly, with all the hot air in Evgeny's head, his mind has been blown away. <sighs> I swear to you, I'm not doing this out of my own interest. Comrades, there are many better places in this world. And you have better purposes to fulfill. You shouldn't waste your time here. <laughs> Let's all calm down, my friends. It's time to be reasonable. Think carefully. Sino has been very generous regarding the offers before you. Generous? Now that's ridiculous. 
We won't let you take away our family and friends, nor are we are about to let you turn our town into a puppet state. We will stay here, no matter what. Comrades, I understand how you feel right now. But we must face the cruel reality of our situation. And you're willing to send away our own people, or give up on all we've built here because of this so-called reality? It is the only way forward. If we continue to stay here without any help, it will be the end of us either way. Do we have to turn to Zeno for this help? The truth is, just as Ryashki's economy has been dependent on Runian, we remain dependent on Zeno. Without them, at the present rate of consumption, we will be out of supplies and materials within a year. <sighs> the situation looks bad. Zeno is determined to gain control over this place. <gasps> but if I complete the task as Zeno requested, does it mean... I will shatter their dream? And what about my dream? Did the people who refused to acknowledge the study of ley lines act out of the same self-interest? I've seen this happen so many times before. A simple dream is made to face a cruel reality. Where the clever ones give up and leave. And the stubborn fools remain, waiting to be crushed. We asked for our misery. But I am, Miss Vila. <sighs> Sir, with all due respect, I can't complete this task alone. As an ordinary researcher, I can relate to them. Please, forgive me for interrupting. I have heard so much about Ryashki these days. They started from nothing, but bit by bit they accomplished the impossible. Their voice should be heard. Priroda at the Chisla Icherte.
Now, will you listen to me? We don't need your help. Your soldiers and your tyranny are no longer welcome here. <laughs> Comrades, what do you say? Shall we solve the problem with the strength of our own hands and hearts? <sighs> what else can we do? This is what we've always done when there was a problem. There will be more solutions than problems if we work together. If I must die, I will die here with all of you. Stop talking nonsense, you idiot! Nobody is going to die! Rayashki belongs to all of us! We will stand with it till its last moment! say they're just ordinary people, but they are so brave and noble. <laughs> 